Welcome to On The Money with Secure Money. I'm your host, Brian Peranta, and I'm in studio today with my good friend, Rob Hurdig. What a lot of you don't know is my good friend, Rob Hurdig, here is a consultant with lots of financial planners all over the country. Absolutely. Uh, you have a heck of a vantage point uh, in getting to see what's happening around the country. It's, and it's, it's a little bit scary right now with inflation. And, and I've got to ask, with you working in so many different markets across the country um, and working with so many different planners, what is being addressed with inflation right now and kind of what's going on? Yeah, well, first, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very yeah. much for having me. It's, it's always fun to sit down and talk with you. I know that you're passionate about the game here and, and your craft and helping people retire the yeah. way they want to retire. I know it's really important to you. Um, you know, from my vantage point, and man, you know me. I'm not a doom and gloom guy. I'm a positive guy. Right. I, I'm not a head in the sand guy. I, I, I focus on, on what can be achieved. And it, the scary thing to me is that people are putting their heads in the sand when it comes to when it yeah. comes to inflation and planning for retirement, and you know, the, just the whole ball of wax, it's out of sight, out of mind. And to me, that's that's terrifying. Do you think they have their head in the sand right now because uh, they've lost money, because they don't want to deal with it? They, what, what is it? Why are people not willing to address it? I think it's a culmination of quite a few things. But you know, you look at a 12-year bull market run. Yeah. You know, that, that, that kind of lulls you to sleep a little bit, right? You, it you get does. this false sense of confidence. And we're talking about inflation. So let's talk about inflation. The 100-year inflation average is about 3.23%. Yeah. So it, it's been so far out of mind. The 10-year average is about 2.1%. 2, 2. Okay. Right. <laughs> so it, let, let's, yeah. let, let's really put this into perspective from a dollar standpoint. Yeah. At 2.1% inflation, if you need $100,000 a year in retirement, mm -hmm. it takes 30 years for that to double to... So you're telling me if I need thirty thousand right now, yeah. in in thirty years I'd need sixty thousand at two percent inflation. Right. Okay, got it. At three percent, three point two percent inflation, which is the hundred and two year average, it's about every twenty five years. So out of sight, out of mind. And here's right. why: what, How long does the average person live in retirement? Well, the, first off, most people can't think about whether they can't think past what they're going to have for dinner tonight, yeah. let alone twenty five years that they're going to need extra income. Right. Yeah. So so here's the deal: the average person lives eighteen to twenty years in retirement right okay. now. So it's not even a double the whole time right. they're in retirement at, yeah. at, at 2.3, right, or 2.2, whatever it is. Now, we ran it also at 8.6, which was the national average, okay? Right now. Is well, it's not anymore. It's 9.1 now. So we ran this a little bit So it's bit getting low. worse. Well, so I dumbed it down a little bit just because I, I don't want to do worst yeah, case scenario. Right. You know, yeah. I, I try to be realistic about this stuff, but I do think it's worse than 8.6%. And when we run it at 8.6%, your income need doubles every eight years. So that's about three times in retirement. So if you need $100,000 a year now, it becomes 200 by year eight, and by year 16, it is four hundred thousand dollars a year. Where are you come? Where is that coming from? Well, and and most people will spend twenty to thirty years in retirement. So this is a lot of doubling that could happen if inflation stayed at this. And we were talking about this a little bit earlier this morning, where everybody's inflation rate's a little bit different too. It, because it is. I, I mean, I have clients that enjoy just staying home, taking care of the garden. Right. right. They watch their grandkids. Yeah. But then I have clients that are flying around the country, flying around the world, going on cruises, going out to dinner, spending time with their grandkids. Right. Their grandkids are in different parts of, of, of the country. Yeah. Right. Their inflation rate is has got to be different because w travel's up what, 40%? 30? 35 to 40% kind of depending on who you're talking to. Then fuel is up. Oh, uh, 100%. 100% you know? <laughs> of fuel. I mean, it's, it's yes. insane. So, so somebody that's very active in retirement could have a completely different inflation rate oh, than the average. It, I think you make a great point because what do you say about returns? You said the market doesn't return in what? In averages, that's right? right. That's so when we're talking about returns, it doesn't return in averages. It means it's not going to hit everybody equally, right? Yeah. And it's not going to hit the same way all the time, right? Yeah. Well, why do we look at inflation in averages? Because if you have a different lifestyle than somebody else, I would venture to guess inflation is a much higher rate for you. Yeah, and you make a good point about averages, and this is where the math lies. Wall Street math lies. You know, folks, if you don't realize this, but infl or not inflation, but just if you look at math in general, let's say you had a million dollars and you lost, you know, let's say 50% and you go to 500,000. The next year you gain 50%, you're only going back to 750,000. That's still a 25% loss. Let's say the next year after that, you gain an additional 30%. You're not even back to even yet. So you have a three-year return of zero. But if you look at the averages, Wall Street will tell you you still averaged a reasonable rate of return of about 10%, right? Isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? It's crazy. That's amazing to me that they are able to do that and project those numbers like that. You want to look at a little more math? Go ahead. Okay, look at your 100-year average, right? Yeah. 3.2%, right. 3.23. Okay, sustainable, right? Yep, 3.2. Because what's that? What's the 70-year average return of the S&P? About nine, yep. right? Yep. So if we take the 3.2% inflation and we, we, we 
we factor in the, the systematic withdrawal approach, right? Where we're taking the 4% rule. It's also yeah. called the 4% rule. We're taking additional 4% withdrawals out per year to live off of, right? What do we have a total of? 7% per year? Yeah. That's sustainable, okay? Yeah. Now, now back out that 3.4% average rate of return. Yeah. Or average inflation rate. Right. And plug back in that 8.6. Yeah. Yeah, okay? we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Right. And nobody's talking about it, and firms aren't talking about it. How many people do you come in and say, hey, yeah, my, my big box firm? They called me and told me I should come in and talk to them because of inflation and because of inflation's impact on my plan. How many right. of those do you have? You're, we don't see it. it never They're happens. not getting those phone calls. Uh, you know, here's what I don't understand. And most of, most of these big box firms have figured out plans around three or four percent inflation, and they're not reviewing it. Right. You know, and of course, when people are losing money, all they're doing is telling them, "Don't worry about it. Hang in there. You're in it for the long haul. It's just a paper loss." And I think the big box firms really are disconnected from what's really happening in retirement because they focus on an investment strategy. Strategy, right. right, that's designed to accumulate and grow the money. Yeah. But but what retirees need is actually a distribution of income. They do. Right. It's about you climb the mountain, but then how are you going to get down the mountain? Right. You know, and you need a guide to get down the mountain. And this is what Secure Money Advisors has always been really good at, and what we're passionate about. But there's not many of us out there. You work with some of the best advisors across the country right. that focus solely on distribution. Absolutely. Right? And that's a different strategy than actually growing the money. It's a different area of expertise. Building income, protecting yourself from inflation, right. making sure that your lifestyle is protected is different than just growing a pot of money. Because you have time. Right. And when in retirement, you don't have time. So you think about what we asked a little bit ago. Why are these other firms not talking about it? Either they don't do it, right, or they're worried about losing income, right? Because they get paid. The more money you have with them under management, the more they get paid. So they don't want that leaving going into other instruments that are going to help you survive retirement. You right? mean like if they take money out of managed accounts and go into something that generates cash flow? Yeah, exactly. They could cannibalize their fees? Is that, that what you exactly. mean? exactly. They don't want to take a pay cut. So, right, right. Isn't that fascinating it, it, to me? It's interesting. Well, it is interesting because that's not, that's not helping people from a consultative standpoint solve problems. Folks, we're talking about inflation and there's a few ways that you can solve this problem. You could get a part-time job, you could go back to work, but the better thing to do is actually get a review and test, stress test your portfolio for inflation. If you call right now, call 1-888-382-1298. Our team is standing by to schedule you for a complimentary retirement readiness review and inflation report. Take advantage of this right now. This is not the time to kick the can down the road and procrastinate. Again, call 1-888-382-1298 and schedule your complimentary retirement readiness review and get your inflation report today or scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen and schedule. Thanks for watching. Call 888-382-1298 for your retirement readiness review with inflation report. Inflation continues to hit all time highs. Will your investments provide you with income you need in retirement? Are you losing purchasing power of your savings? Don't let runaway inflation erode your retirement dreams. Now's the time to act to be certain you have an income strategy that overcomes the effects of inflation. Call Brian and his team at 888-382-1298 for your no-cost retirement readiness review with inflation report. You might have the savings you need today to weather this storm, but how will inflation affect your nest eggs 5, 10, 15 years from now? Discover the peace of mind you deserve. Call Brian and his team, 888-382-1298 for your no-cost retirement readiness review with Inflation Report or use the QR code to schedule your appointment today. Welcome to On The Money with Secure Money. I'm your host, Brian Caranta, and in studio today with me is my good friend, Rob Hurdig. Rob, how are you today? Man, I always love being here. I'm doing great. <laughs> well, you know, for those of you that don't know, Rob is actually a consultant with hundreds of advisors all over the country. And, um, you know, you've worked with our firm on, on many things, but, yeah. you know, you get to see all over the country kind of what's going on and yeah. how things are being solved. And I think one of the biggest things we're dealing with right now is risk. We're oh. uh, start to the stock market in what, 40 years? Right. Bond but, market, we're st start to the bond market in, in 30? Is that right? So 30 and since the Great Depression, I believe. Yeah. So, a lot, I mean, these are drastic. 30 years and the Great Depression. A, a drastic times. Yeah. And to clarify, I work with independent firms. So I work with firms like yours that aren't beholden to anybody that, yeah. that are completely independent and can make recommendations that yeah. are the best suited for the client. Not the best suited for the firm, but the best suited for the client. So, yeah, you're all correct. I, but I did feel like I needed to correct you. Know, I, I, I'll tell you, I, I, I really don't think people really understand how to define risk. I mean, you know, at Secure Money Advisors, we define risk. It's very simple. 
uh, if it can go up in value or down in value, it's risky, right? <laughs> period, bottom right. line. And the reason I say that is because you can look at positions right now, bond positions, that are typically used right. as safer positions. Right. You got a 20-year treasury bond ETF right now. Sounds safe. Sounds safe, AAA rated, right. down over 20% on the year. It's insane. Well, here's, here it gets even worse because it's only yielding a little over 1%. So your, your, your yield is a little over 1% and you've just lost over 20%. Right. So this is the type of things that people are dealing with right now where they're taking losses right before retirement or in retirement when they really can't afford to take a loss. And maybe those losses are bigger and deeper than they thought they were going to be because their definition of risk didn't align with what their financial advisors did, right? Yeah. It really does matter where you came from, where you cut your teeth in this business. Your definition of risk is totally based on that. Well, right? I can relate to that because you go back to, you know, 20 years ago, well, probably going on 23 years ago now. Yeah. Um, when I first got in the business, I was working for the big box firms. I, look at, I looked at risk differently 23 years ago than I do today right. because I was taught differently. And what I didn't realize is that when you're focused on helping somebody retire, the strategies and techniques that you use to help them grow their money are not the same strategies and techniques you use to help them retire. The game changes completely. There's different specializations, right? There's different specializations. And for the last you know, 16, 17 years of my career, all we've done is focused on retirement planning, where the number one priority is to protect the retirement lifestyle. Right. And I see so many people today that come into our office that are not protecting the retirement lifestyle first. Once they protect a retirement lifestyle, they could certainly take as much risk as they want with the money that they can afford right. to take risk with. But so many people are taking risk with money they can't afford to lose. It's amazing that this even concept of being different types of financial advisors that have different expertise, yeah. that it's foreign to people. Because if you have a foot problem, you go to the podiatrist, you don't go to the huh. general practitioner, right? right? But we do it with our money. Yeah, we it's, certainly it's, do. It's really interesting. And not only that, we should be demanding that our understanding of risk and what, what, what's, you know, what we have to stand to lose is the same that we align perfectly with the financial advisor. Right. Right? But it doesn't happen, Brian. Yeah. You know, I've always said it's, you know, it's really easy for somebody else to tell you to risk their money uh, or, you know, to, or for you to say, you know, it's okay to risk your money, especially if you get paid a commission to do it. Right. You know, or, or they have no consequences if it doesn't work out. Right. Because it seems like the only answer that people get a lot from the big box firms if they lose money is don't worry about it, hang in there, it's just a paper loss, you know, you're in it for the long haul. Right. And I always think, gosh, if you're retired, how much long haul do you really have left? I mean, you know, most people spend maybe 20 years in retirement on average, 18 yeah. years in retirement on average. Hey, so you have a baby. Yeah. When it cries, what do you do? Put a pacifier in its mouth? Yeah. That's, that's what they're doing. Those words right. are, it's a pacifier for yeah. a financial advisor. Like, oh. They're you, managing the emotion. Let, let, let me put this in your mouth real quick. You know, let's talk about the real problems that are associated. Let's not pacify it. Let's talk about it and let's fix it, right? Yeah. And, and, I, and I think ultimately, I mean, you know, on the flip side of all of this, if you really think about it, there's also a safe way to lose money too, though. There is. Because look at what's happening with banks, right? Yeah. Banks don't want to really pay us to have our money no. with them anymore. Um, 0.10% for a checking account, maybe 0.20% if you get a money market. By the way, if you just look at the dollars, you know, equate that to dollars on a $100,000 at 0.10%, right. you're earning what, $100 a year in interest? Yeah. You know, $100, $100 a year in interest. But if inflation's at 9.1, 9 point, you're losing $9,000. <laughs> yeah, I think most checking and savings accounts pay 10 basis points. So you're about, yeah. Yeah, you're 10 right. basis we're, points. We're losing money safely. You're it's, losing money safely, it, it, especially when inflation so you, high, you, right? So with the vantage point I have and working with so many offices across the country, I'll share a quick story. And this is a real story. And this is not intended to scare people, or maybe it is. If it scares you in a meeting with somebody, then then great, right? right? Yeah. But this really happened, and I'm hearing these stories over and over again. I, I've got a firm I work with in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and this firm had a prospect come in, and this prospect had lost 70% of their money, 70%. Wow, right, right? Yeah. These people were 70 years old, okay? Huh. So they lost 70% at 70 years old, okay? Yep. These people came into the person I works with office in tears, yep. literally crying, Yeah. and he did a 
RiskWise report on them. Right. And he found out their risk score is about 24. Tell the audience what that means. Well, you know, that's interesting that you bring that up because most people don't know how to quantify risk. Right. They, you know, Wall Street has had people believing that there's conservative, moderately conservative, aggressive, moderately aggressive, right? You fall into and the bucket, right? You fall into this bucket. No. But there's a real mathematical risk score yeah. that can be used. And it's on a scale from one to 99, right? right? So the higher the risk score, 99 being the highest risk that you can possibly right. take, you're, you're gonna be, when we evaluate your portfolio and we plug in these data points, it'll actually give us a report back showing what that risk score is. So 24. So, so but you take a quiz first, yeah. right? And the quiz says that based on how you answered these questions, your risk score is a 24, right? Yeah. And what was their actual portfolio risk score? They were in leveraged investments. Th their score was off the charts. I mean, it was 100. If there was 100 on the, the, the it score, would be there. it would be 100. Yeah. And these people were 70 years old and lost 70% of their assets. So if you have a million dollars, now you have 300,000. This gentleman had to go back to work at 70 years old. You, I, I, you hear these stories, and what happens is people ha are, are losing money at the wrong times, yeah. and they're having to go back when they really don't have the physical capability of going back to work. No more human capital at that There's point. There's no right. more human capital. Right. Who wants to go back to work at 70, 80 years old? And unfortunately, you know, you're not going to run out of money in the first five years of retirement. Yeah. You're going to run out of money in the years that you're much older, when you need and it. You really d when you need it, and you really don't have that human capital to, uh, to, to, to go back to work or the want to go back to work. So, you know, folks, here, here's what I want to share with you. If you're listening and you have money in a 401k or an IRA, you need to call and schedule your complimentary retirement readiness review right now. Call 1-888-382-1298. And you're also going to get a complimentary risk report so we can actually evaluate your risk score. Don't kick the can down the road. Don't procrastinate on this. This is really important. Call 1-888-382-1298 or scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen and schedule with us now. Thanks for watching. Call 888-382-1298 for your own complimentary retirement readiness review and risk report. Why take unnecessary risk when you don't have to? At 65 years old, would you drive to the grocery store at 100 miles per hour if 40 miles per hour would get you there safely? When nearing retirement, are you still driving your investment accounts like you're in your 30s or 40s? Have you changed your investment election since you first chose them in your retirement accounts at work? Call Brian and his team at 888-382-1298 for your own complimentary retirement readiness review and risk report. Do you know exactly how much risk you are taking in your investment accounts? Now that you've accumulated a nest egg for retirement, you want to be certain the risk you're taking in those investments matches your goals and objectives. Call Brian and his team, 888-382-1298, for your own complimentary retirement readiness review and risk report. Or use the QR code below to begin scheduling your appointment. You may not have time to recover from taking too much risk. Welcome to On The Money with Secure Money. I'm your host, Brian Peranta, and in studio with me today is my good friend, Rob Herdig, and consultant of many, hundreds of action, right. financial planners all over the country. And it's really neat to have you in with us because you give us a perspective that we don't really get all that often. You get to see kind of what's going on everywhere in the country and how financial planning firms are really going about solving some right. of the most major problems. And one of the most major problems we're dealing with is taxation. Yeah. So when it comes to taxes, why do you think most people just don't have a tax plan? What, what, what's going on? Well, I think we've been conditioned to look at taxes in the rearview mirror. Yeah. Look at how we file our tax returns on our yeah. income, right? That's we're doing great. it after the fact, right? Yeah. We're making prep. We call it preparations. Aren't preparations like a tax prepare? Yeah. Preparations for something you're getting ready to do, not something you already did, right? Right, 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 right. So right, it's funny. Yeah. We've been conditioned to look at things backwards, mm -hmm. right? And so when we go into retirement, we look at taxation on our assets. We look at it from a completely different lens mm -hmm. than, than we do with any other thing in life. Think about this. When you went to college, right, you had a plan to get through your schooling, That's right? That's right. And once you accomplished that goal, you had other goals, right? And there was a plan of action. Why is it with taxes we wing it? It's the or we look backwards. Right. We're looking backwards, right. right? We're saying, what's happened over the last year, and let's prepare that return, rather than saying, hey, what's going to be happening? Yeah. And how do we prepare, and how do we avoid those obstacles that are about to come? Because they're coming. 
So it, here's the interesting thing. There, there's a quote, I think, that, that expresses this perfectly. There was a federal judge, his name was Learned Hand. Okay. And he essentially said, in America, there are two tax systems, one for the form, informed, the other's for the uninformed, yeah. and both are legal. Well, and you know what they're counting on? Yeah. They're the counting uninformed. on the uninformed. That's right. right. Yeah. So who are you going to be? Yeah. Who are you Most be? people are the uninformed. And they don't have to be. But they've, and it's not that they're not smart people, yeah. Brian. It's not that they're dumb. Right. It's that they've been conditioned to believe that this is the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're getting advice from the wrong people. Right. Right. And most people don't realize that one of their most people that we meet, their yeah. largest asset is some type of retirement plan like a 401k, a 403b, an IRA account. Right. These accounts have never been taxed before. But they look at it like they have been. Right. Right. And what they don't realize is that their largest shareholder in those accounts is the IRS. You get a business partner. You have a business partner. And, and imagine having a business partner that at any day they could wake up and say, you know what, I don't feel like just getting 30% of your money anymore. I want 40% or 50% right. or 60% of your money. And they can change the rules in the middle of the game. Right. Now, listen, I have a three-year-old. He's just learning how to start playing games. But if I change the rules on Maddox, yeah. In the middle of the game, he's like, Dad, that's not fair. Right. <laughs> but right. yet, we, we deal with this with the government all the time with the, uh, with the tax code. He would call you out. Who, nobody in their right mind would play this game, but we do every single day. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's a matter of being proactive versus being reactive, right? Yeah. There's a way to be proactive, but a lot of times, you know, it, 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 we talked about what I do for a living on, on the intro, and, you know, it, it's, it's really cool to see, but it's also really terrifying to see, too, because, I, you know, I'm, I'm part of this experiment, right, where I get to see all these people coming in because their advisor's not doing what they're right. supposed to be doing. Yeah. And to hear these stories and to see where people are at, and they're putting blind faith and blind trust in somebody that may or may not have their best intentions in mind, right? Yeah, and they're going in and they're having reviews about account performance. They're not having reviews around the best ways to maximize their income, the best ways to reduce their taxation right. or their future taxation. Right. They're not talking about how to properly bucket their investments, right? right? You look at most people, they have investments in all in one bucket. Right. And, 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 and they have not taken the time to designate certain buckets of money at certain times of their life to do certain things. They don't have a healthcare strategy. They don't have a legacy strategy. Right. Because these big firms are not doing this type of in-depth planning, and there's a lot that's being missed. Not every I is being dotted, and not every T is being crossed. Right, so we know there's some ways to mitigate taxes. There's right. stuff like, there's, there's life insurance, there's also something called the Roth conversion, right. where essentially you, you fulfill the taxation on it today, and the pro, what, what you earn on it from then on out becomes tax-free, tax right? Well, yeah, I, well, a lot of people don't understand this whole Roth IRA well, thing. Well, yeah. you know what? Big box firms do not talk about it. And I challenge anybody out there right now, call your big box firm, yeah. ask them about Roth conversions, and you're going to, I know the answer. They either don't do them or they don't talk about them. You know yeah. why they don't talk about them? Why? Because when you do a Roth conversion, it takes you satisfying the taxation on that account. So the, a lot of times the account size shrinks. shrinks. So they're, the financial advisor's taking a loss in income. So you're telling me, let's say you have a million dollar account, yeah. right? And let's just say that you're going to convert that million dollar account. Right. You got to pay the taxes on it, right? right? So now that million dollar account's only worth seven hundred thousand because yes. you had to pay thirty percent in taxes, or, or maybe less, right? Right. So now they can only charge fees on seven hundred thousand, not a million. Right. Wow. So if you think that they're charging one percent, right? right? Right. Their income went from what is that? Well, ten thousand dollars down to seven thousand. They took dollars. a thirty percent reduction in pay, so they're yeah. worried about their pay and not and not yours, right? Wow, that's incredible. Because you know the best thing you can do is really get rid of that, uh, get rid of the IRS as quickly as you can, because you know you're either going to deal with them in your lifetime or whoever you leave your money to, they're going to deal with them. Do, do you remember what? Albert Einstein said about compounding interest. It wasn't it like the eighth wonder of the world? It's the eighth wonder of the world, and the IRS knows that. That's why they're allowing you to defer, <laughs> defer your taxes, right? So you can disinherit them right, right. now yep. and, and use that compounding in your favor, Yeah. or you can let them win. I mean, right, because I still get compounding interest when I do a conversion to a Roth IRA. Right. It's just the compounding of it is actually all tax-free to me. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get asked this question all the time, like, how, how do I know? How do I know if I'm a good candidate for for Roth conversions. And I think a lot of people hear that and they say, oh, it doesn't apply to me. But I think, it, it, I mean, I know what I would identify as a, a candidate, but you and your practice, what you see is, hey, this person is a prime candidate to actually do some strategic tax planning. Well, look, I mean, I, if you're 10 years from retirement, five years from retirement, you have money in an IRA, a 401k, you're a perfect candidate yeah. to look 
at a Roth conversion strategy to yeah. see if it would benefit you to do. Even if you're recently retired, probably, if you're not too far Even into Even recently it. retired, you can yeah. do it. Because look, look at it this way. Most people, right, with their retirement account, that is replacing the defined benefit plan, right? right. The, the pension. Yeah. So most people, 85 to 90% of the people that have these plans are going to need to take income out. Yeah. So let's just do some basic math. Let's say they need $1,000 coming out of that account and they're in a 20% tax bracket. Well, that means after they take that $1,000 out and pay the 20% in taxes, they're only netting $800. Right. Well, what happens when taxes go to 30%? Now they're only netting $700. So just through taxes going up, they reduce their purchasing power. Right. Now you convert that to a Roth IRA, right? And now you take that same $1,000 out, your taxes are at 20%. You pull that money out of a Roth IRA, you still get $1,000 because you don't owe any taxes. Tax rates go to 50%. You still get $1,000 because it's all tax-free money. And now, to your point, that compounding interest is working in your favor. Folks, the reason why you want to get a tax strategy right now is because we have the most advantageous tax rates right now. Now is the time to actually put together a tax plan. Why taxes are on sale. But you got to do your part. you got to call us today. Call 1-888-382-1298 and get your retirement readiness review with TaxMap Report. Again, call one 888 382 one, two, nine, eight, or scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching. Call 888-382-1298 now to receive your complimentary tax map with your retirement readiness review. Learn multiple strategies that can protect you from higher taxes now and in the future. Taxes are a threat to your financial stability in retirement. Protect yourself from the potential threat of rising taxes. As a retirement planning financial advisory firm, Brian and his team will help you navigate the financial waters to pursue your retirement goals. Call 888-382-1298 today. Brian and his team provide inclusive retirement services such as investment directives for your portfolio, income producing strategies, and wealth preservation plans for your family and legacy. Call Brian and his team, 888-382-1298 now for your complimentary tax map with your retirement readiness review. Discover tax strategies to keep more of what you have saved in retirement or use the QR code below to schedule today.